Hi everybody, how are you doing today? I have come on to read a story today and it is going to be No Bot, the robot with no bottom. I don't have that problem. Mm -hmm. And it's by Sue Hendra. Okay, so before I read it, I want to say hello to Harris. Hi, Harris. Harris used to come to Big Kids a long time ago. In fact, do you know something? Your mummy was the very first person to sign up to come to my classes. But Harris is at school now and he is still watching my videos. So thank you so much for watching, Harris. And I hope you're doing really, really well. Can I also say to everyone, if you're watching and if you're enjoying my videos, can you please like and subscribe if you can? Um, I can't do classes and I think it's going to be a wee while before we can do classes. So in the meantime, I'm just going to keep doing these stories and keep doing the letter um, videos, just plugging away. But if you can like and subscribe, it makes a huge difference to me. So that would be really, really good if you can. Okay. Okay, let's get on with the story. Right, no bot, the robot with no bottom. Bernard, the robot, loved to play at the park. Whee! He swung high, 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 up into the sky. It's good to be on a swing. Soon it was time to go. Bernard jumped off the swing and headed home. He walked a little way when... <gasps> a bottom! cried Bernard. It disappeared! Where can it be? Imagine losing your bottom. Oh dear. Bernard went back to the park to look. But he couldn't see his bottom anywhere. Excuse me, monkey, he said. Have you seen my bottom? Hmm, said monkey. I think I might have. Bird is using it. Come and see. Bird using his bottom. Hello, Bird, said Monkey. Have you still got Bernard's bottom? Oops, Bernard, was that your bottom? said Bird. It was too heavy to be a nest. Look, the branches broke. So I give it to Bear to use as a drum kit. Let's go and get it back. Bashing on your bottom like a drum? Excuse me, Bear, have you been drumming on my bottom? asked Bernard. Oops, Bernard, was that your bottom? said Bear. It made a funny noise, I bet it did, so I couldn't use it. I don't know where it is now. Oh, said Bernard. What kind of noise do you think his bottom was making? Do you think it was this? <coughs> don't worry, your bottom's got to be somewhere, said his friends kindly. Look, there it is, said Monkey. But that's just Gary's hat, said Bernard. There, said Bird. That's just Edward's shopping basket, said Bernard. Isn't that it, said Bear. No, that's just Dog's window box. Bernard was sad. I'll never get my bottom back, he sobbed. Come and sit down, said his friends, and we'll think of where to look next. I can't sit down, said Bernard. I haven't got a bottom. I'm not a robot. I'm a no-bot. And he walked away to carry on looking. Oh, poor Bernard. After a while, he arrived at the beach. He looked out to sea and saw something very familiar. There it was. <gasps> Come back, he shouted. Come back here. You've got my bottom. But the rabbits couldn't hear him. Bernard jumped up and down and waved, but it was no good. Then, as he turned away, he spotted a strange shaped sandcastle. He had found his bottom. And look. Ooh, oh, there it is there. Bernard was so happy to have his bottom back that he did a wiggling, jiggling dance and so did all his friends. A wiggle and a jiggle and a wiggle and a jiggle and a wiggle and a jiggle wiggle wiggle. <laughs> can you do a wiggle and a jiggle with your bottom? I bet you can. And Bernard never lost his bottom again. It's so funny because he doesn't want to lose his bottom but guess what? I wouldn't mind losing my bottom 
or maybe you're losing a little bit of my bottom, I think I'll be all right. Okay, thank you so much for listening and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.